everything changes with the passing years. People, the way they live, the way they think and how they look. In what we wear, in fashion, we mirror the moods and fancies and ideas that change with the times. But is anything really new? These creations are as new as tomorrow, but doesn't the chain mail idea belong to the golden age of chivalry? And it looks as though dress designer Rosalind Gilbert had borrowed this startling style from the traditional monastic garb of centuries ago. Let's peep through the passing years and see the other side of time. This was the rage of the 1860s. Purple striped petticoat, red whalebone stays, white chemise and drawers, and red and white stockings. In Great Grandmama's day, comfort and decency were incompatible. Yes, we laugh now. The passing years have taught woman new means to the unchanging end of beauty. But are these quaint fashions really as outdated as you think? Preserved at the Manchester Art Gallery in the famous Cunnington Collection, they give a clue to the modes of today. That high-gathered shoulder, isn't it the latest thing in evening dress design? And haven't the experts predicted a return of the train when austerity goes? The modelled waistline, the cut of the neck, they are fashions that are right back in the vogue. They lived in quieter times, lived slower and sequestered lives, the ladies that wore those dresses. The passing years have changed all that, for better or worse. I wonder which. Mm -hmm. 